So hello once again and welcome back to Get That Dream Girl uh, website editing. Now before we start to edit our website, let's keep things simple, uh, keep everything in one place. So later on, once we update the website to a live server, everything shows up as it should. Okay. Now the first thing for you to do is, you know, is think about what you want to change on a website. So basically read through what you think it could be different that would look better and then we can go ahead and make the changes all right so now before we begin making the changes one of the things to do is go back to our desktop back to our new uh, folder okay get that dream girl folder we just created on the first tutorial and we're going to go example if you want to add images to your site you simply go to your image folder okay and we're going to just uh, you know i'm going to use this picture for now and you just drag and drop inside of the folder so basically whatever you want to use has to do with images add it to this folder first okay so we can then once we upload the site everything is ready on the right place and will show as it should now let's go back to composer and now i'm gonna say i want to add a picture up here so you can see the cursor is flashing so this means you can now edit the website so let's move that down and I'm going to insert image. Okay, the cursor where it is, I just go image and it's going to tell me where is the image location. Okay, you click on this little folder here, choose file. We're going to find our new folder. Again, it's under desktop. And our new folder to get that dream girl is here. We open that. We open that again, double click, double click again, and the images, because we said we want the image, so it only shows the image folder. We double click there, we find the image that I want to use, I'm going to click open, and there is the size of the image, okay, but we can resize it there, so I'm just going to go, the image is going to probably be too big, let's click OK, OK. So, it's asking for alter test, so I'm just going to put my name, so if you're putting yourself, use yourself, okay. And click OK. Right now you can see the picture is way too big, so just click on the picture, and you got these handles that we're gonna just drag, click and drag, and make it to the size. We'll be happy with it, and there it goes. Okay. Now it's not the best picture, but this is just to show you how to edit the website. Okay, below you can type in your name. And you can change the font as well. Okay, if it's too big, you just go here, take the bold out, make it smaller, okay. Or make it bigger, it's entirely up to you. Swivel a little bit, and there it goes. Okay, now you can do it up here, or you can do it right at the bottom. And there it goes. So when the website is ready to edit, all you need to do is click Save. Okay, you go up here, you simple click Save. Okay, now if you go back to that folder that we created on the first video, and if we double click open, and we now right click and open with, okay, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. So let's go for Internet Explorer. And the website pops up, and this is how the site now will look like when it's uploaded to the live server. But before we upload the site to the live server, uh, after we made all the changes, the last thing the next thing we need to do is start the button, okay, so people can buy your product. So let's do that on the next video. Thanks for watching.